Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Reading the Red this Tuesday windy morning. Uh, and I believe it's going to rain again as well. So Matthew 13, uh, verses 45, Jesus introduces us to a two-part parable. That is two verses to a parable. And notice how Jesus uses simple um, reflective thoughts that everybody would have got and grasped in order to make his point regarding an insight that he was seeking to give the disciples. And it's really important that we learn to do that as well. Uh, tell, as it were, big stories, but in simple ways. And I believe one of the great things that God wants to do through his church is to communicate incredible truth in a simple way. So often we can go to church and it can be so long-winded, so complicated. But here, Jesus is bringing us into this place of introduction where he uses verse, as it were, 45 and then 46 tomorrow to convey the reality of what this great truth represents. And so he says in uh, 45, again, meaning again as relates to as before regarding the hidden treasure. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant who's seeking fine pearls. So in that one statement, he introduces us to a couple of facets of the revelation of truth that he's seeking to bring to us. So first of all, he says the again, meaning I want you to consider what I've just said regarding the other parable, and then look at it in this way. So it's a reiteration of the similar point that he made before regarding the guy who found a treasure in a field. And so he says, again, so reflect on that. And again, now reflect on this. And so he goes, again, the kingdom of heaven. And uh, here again, I've said before, Matthew uses the word heaven uh, as opposed to the kingdom of God. He says the kingdom of heaven, or that Luke would use the kingdom of God, meaning the reality of everything God represents, all the stuff going on in heaven that is the God always intended to be the reality on earth, the kingdom of heaven. Again, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, and then he goes on, is like a merchant. And a merchant is someone who is seeking to, as it were, get into commerce. He's into uh, making money. He's looking for some means to make a, a profit, to, to make a good investment. And here, this merchant is seeking. So the merchant is the one seeking something better than what he presently has or some in good investment that he might make with the resources that he has. And that's likened to the reality of us who are, as it were, seeking something better. If you're not dissatisfied with life, if everything is content within you, if you're at peace with everything else, you won't be searching for anything new. But I suspect, because it's true for all of us, that there is a God-sized shape gap, emptiness, inside of everyone who is disconnected from God because we were made to be connected to God and we try to fill our lives up with so many other things and we use substitute gods like alcohol, sex, like food, like uh, stuff, material things to try and substitute this inner emptiness of a God-shaped size gap. And the trouble is, we never fill it until we are those who seek the right thing. And tomorrow, in the second part of this parable, we'll find out what that right thing is. Have a great day. God bless you.